Hey YouTube, this is all about Androids.com. Today we will be giving you an overview of Ordroid 1.7.1. So this ROM has a lot of improvement and fixes from Insert Coin Beta 4, which is also a Sense 4.0 ROM that we reviewed last week. So when installing this ROM, you have the option of uh, Removing HTC Sense uh, APKs such as Launcher, Watch, Gallery, Music, basically anything HTC, and you have the option of adding, you know, stock Google apps such as Mail, the stock Google Launcher, and so on. Okay, so this uh, ROM has been, uh, you know, it the uh, kernel has been changed to uh, Brick 0.4 which is running at 1.5 gigahertz. It has uh, also updated the base to 1.53, 1.2. The uh, base that we updated to for 3. Uh, since 3.6 ROMs, uh, the official HTC Sensation ROM, the base was uh, 0.32, but this is 0.53. That doesn't really matter. This is a ported version from uh, the uh, HTC One S. That's why the base, uh, the build number is different, and the base is different. As long as you're running um, the latest uh, HTC uh, Sensation base, uh, which is 3.32, you'll be fine. You'll be able to, you know, flash this ROM and run this ROM fine. Data works wonderful, even though you know I have Win Mobile, which is pretty shitty in uh, Canada. Sorry to say high ping but hey it gives me over one uh, megabit which is all I need so this ROM since it does have the updated bases it's pretty damn smooth very um, very few glitches very few hangings so it's, it's, it's really nice GPS also works as well. Wi-Fi hotspot is also fully functional now. So um, yeah, some graphical glitches that I uh, noticed last time, where you know the phone would just hang when I would uh, open an app, and I would have to toggle one of the volume keys to be able to see um, whatever. So that's that's also been fixed. I've not noticed that at all. And uh, you'll also notice when you install any Sense 4.0 ROM, you also get 25 gigs of uh, online storage with uh, Dropbox, which is pretty nice. And uh, when you first boot up the ROM, uh, you will notice that uh, it will be saying that loading, whatever, um, and most of the apps are now zip aligned. Zip alignment is a, a form of archiving. So basically, it will place apps in specific orders to prioritize the apps, uh, the apps order. For example, the Android system is uh, given uh, top priority, so uh, it yeah, it will work faster. So a few other things: uh, Bluetooth still doesn't work. If I try to turn it on, it's the exact same thing. It's just gonna turn off by itself. And also, when you uh, turn on GPS, your phone will still soft reboot the first time, but then it'll work wonderfully afterwards. And uh, when you first uh, install the ROM, you'll notice that uh, Play Shop is uh, not updated to the uh, latest ver version, which is uh, 3.5.15, but the ROM actually comes with 3.4.7. Um, if you look, look in the uh, links below we have uh, posted the updated APK so install that if you want I also noticed when uh, you wake the phone there is still a lag sometimes not right now but uh, some of the times if your phone is in your pocket for one or two hours you take it out you press the power button you'll notice a three uh, second lag in order to see your screen uh, this problem is still here even though uh, the kernel has changed to uh, the brick kernel it doesn't happen when you you know when you're using your phone just 
when you haven't used it for an hour or two. Um, I also noticed uh, that there is no Beats Audio included. This is because uh, it's still not functional in Sense 4.0. So the developer decided to simply not put it in. So in my opinion, this ROM is a great daily driver. All of the features that you would crucially need such as Wi-Fi, data, GPS, they all work great. Except for Bluetooth. Bluetooth still doesn't work. So, this has been all about Androids.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page and a Google Plus account and a Twitter at us there. Thanks again.